This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. There is no single viewpoint. Every male in the world tries to define being a man at least once in his life. Some researchers state that the first attempt takes place at the age of three in the majority of cases when a boy learns about certain peculiarities of his body. Of course, men try to understand what it is like to be a man much later. Men have different viewpoints on the matter. However, in the majority of cases they contemplate similar categories. Therefore, it is possible to draw a universal definition of being a man when these categories are analyzed. Though such category as physical features, for example strength, should be taken into account, it cannot be the principal one. There are more important categories that make a man man. These major categories to analyze are as follows, social role, relationships in a family, interaction with females, and ethnic identity. Social roles in the first place, it can be important to look at the way men identify themselves in society. Interestingly, there are certain stereotypes concerning men in this respect. For instance, men often try to hold leading positions. They try to fit the image of a tough guy who can reach his aims and who can reach the top. Therefore, men often try to measure their masculinity, or other males' masculinity, with the help of this category. The higher post a man holds, the more manlike he seems. It is also important to note that many often think that men have no right to be sentimental when reaching their aims. However, these are only stereotypes. Now men are not expected to be sharks in human society. Though masculinity is still associated with a high social position, men are not expected to make their way over corpses. Now such feature as responsibility is more important. Men are regarded as human beings who are responsible when it comes to making decisions. Being a man presupposes being responsible for various projects and various people involved. Now this is the most important measurement for males. It is also important to state that masculinity has always been associated with competitiveness. Thus, men have always tried to prove they are tough. Now this competitiveness is also associated with responsibility. Men do not simply try to win the race, they are supposed to be responsible. Men cannot lose self-control. Thus, masculinity presupposes responsibility, competitiveness, and self-control. Relationships with females Admittedly, there are loads of stereotypes when it comes to relationships between men and women. Historically, males were supposed to dominate females. Several centuries ago males were regarded as superior creatures. They could suppress their women and their children. Being a man could be synonymous with being cruel to a woman. Husbands were regarded as masters of their wives and their kids. Therefore, masculinity was measured by the level of his woman's obedience. This stereotype is still prevailing in many societies. However, many understand that this stereotype is outdated. Nowadays men do not need to show how strict they are with women. Marriage has transformed into the institution of two equal partners who take care of their children. Of course, it is important to note that these partners have a bit different roles. Thus, masculinity is not synonymous with superiority now. Men do not try to suppress their wives or partners. Now an ideal husband is supportive and caring. He is also responsible. Notably, responsibility is important in this category as well. Being a man presupposes being responsible. Men should care about close people. They still should be strongholds of their families. Masculinity is now traced to the ability to be strong enough to admit that women are equal to men. Remarkably, this ability can be traced to men's attitudes toward feminist movements or even feminist ideas. Now many people understand that only weak and unconfident men try to prove that women should fulfill tasks that they have been carrying out throughout centuries. 
such men do not want to let women hold high positions in society. These men think that the institution of masculinity is in danger if women become in charge of men. On the contrary, really tough guys accept the changes which took place. They welcome women who can successfully hold the high position. Competitiveness is one of the most common features of masculinity. Real men welcome a deserving competitor, even if it is a female competitor. Therefore, responsibility is one of the most important features of masculinity when it comes to relationships with females, too. Ethnic identity Ethnic identity is also one of the most important categories to analyze. Being a man means being responsible for an entire group of people. This category is a bit similar to the previous one. Men often associate themselves with the entire nation. They feel ties between members of the group. It is possible to state that they also feel responsible for the future of the entire nation. Admittedly, this can be compared to one of the basic instincts which make people continue their race. Likewise, men are supposed to be the strongholds of their families. Thus, responsibility appears in the category of ethnic identity, too. Universal Definition On balance, it is possible to state that men have different viewpoints on masculinity. Likewise, there are many definitions of being a man. Nonetheless, it is still possible to come up with a universal definition. Thus, being a man means being committed and responsible for those who are dependent. Being a man also presupposes healthy competitiveness which leads to development of the society. Finally, being a man means being able to accept equality. Of course, it is important to note that this universal definition touches upon the major features of the real man. Many other qualities make a man man. Nonetheless, if a male is not characterized by such features as responsibility and healthy competitiveness, he cannot be called a real man. If you want to find more works like this essay on definition of being a man, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects.